Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware and this is Steven Taylor. Um, thought we'd talk a little bit about some hot water domestic installations and mm -hmm. some do's and don'ts. Yep. Obviously, we um, have our rental fleet that have the RBIs inside mm -hmm. um, them, but just some unique things and, and some do's and don'ts on what actually to do when we do those installations. Yeah, the, the biggest thing on domestic is to make sure there's not any mild steel in the system. No cast iron, no steel, no mild steel, no nothing in anything. Fittings, couplings, nipples, pipe, pumps, manifolds, everything has to be brass, stainless steel. Hmm. You can't, can't have any, any mild steel because it'll rust and it collects. You know, if you've ever taken piping apart, you see what it looks like. It collects all that stuff. You don't want your drinking water going through that. That's all got to be, it's got to be. Right. Is, is that a situation because um, it it when it's down it starts to rust or you know, from a rental standpoint I mean the, that if we didn't have these it, it, it even if it's not down uh -huh. it will collect and rust because domestic water is, is so oxygen rich that th that anything that's mild steel that oxygen will attack it starts to rust when it starts to rust it starts corrosion the corrosion carries through the water so that, that's you know that's the biggest thing if when they're going to install one um, and it doesn't matter whether it's a, a rental or a permanent installation it's the same issue make sure they don't have any mild steel you know if they're going to um, rent one from somebody mm. ask them a real simple question is there any mild steel in your system mm. If everything is stainless steel and everything is brass, everything is, is bronze, they're okay. If there's any mild steel, they don't want anything to do with it. Just stay away okay. from it. Yeah, very, very good advice. Anything else? That's it. All right. Well, we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.